The Starkey Hearing Foundation Gala was back for its 17th year, and the goal was the same. So the world may hear. People from all walks of life came together to break down barriers and transcend borders around the world to spread the gift of hearing. Just seeing somebody here for the first time, it really touches the center point of your heart. I was the first deaf player in the NBA. It gives somebody a chance to hear and hear better or clear or even hear at all. They're what really inspired me to give back on a consistent basis. I'm now part of the mission in Jamaica. Starkey flew my father and my girlfriend out, fit them both for hearing aids. The CEO of Starkey took five hours out of his time to fit me with these brand new hearing aids that I'm wearing. Helping expand programs to, to Haiti and Malawi. Giving out free hearing aids all around the world. For one, they're Christians. Two, they're a miracle. They literally are presenting the gift of hearing to people who have never heard before or who have lost that hearing. I'm a Christian too, so. Vander Holyfield, Darius Rucker, Vanderwall. This year's gala set a record with over 1,500 guests. How did you learn how to play? The ukulele? Um, YouTube. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Can you send me some of those YouTube links? I will. We're a CW. You were on Supergirl this season. I was. I did Three Shark and Supergirl. Prince of Daxon. This changes everything. Supergirl. I th they wanted me for longer, more episodes, but I said, look, I can give you a three weeks. So they put me on there, and then they killed me off. So it's your fault you got killed. I, I guess it was my fault. Y'all got some good shows, man. Y'all got, got Black Lightning coming. Hashtag. Black Lightning's back. I taught my son about Black Lightning. Maybe get a Sinbad uh, cameo on that? I gotta get on Black Lightning, man. I'll make some calls. I do. <laughs> Baby Driver. I play a, a character named The Butcher. Is it the best movie of all time? Absolutely, yes. Camera, cameraman Clay says the best movie, His literally his favorite movie. My wife Mariana, as a matter of fact. It's the best movie I've seen in a while. It's not gone with the wind. I have a new, brand new show in Canada called The Launch. Well, I'll throw in my audition tape. Shake it off, shake it off. Not really so good. Dancer? Yeah. yeah. Trent Harmon's here tonight. Idol winner, season 15. Are you guys still working together? Oh yeah. American Idol's coming back. You're the last winner. You've had the title for so long now. When somebody else gets it, are you gonna have to take them out? Take them out how? I'm not saying, I'm just, I don't wanna say you anything. Take them out the game. Uh, that's kind of a- You tell me. Uh, well, you tell me. <laughs> Everything's great. Everything's good. <laughs> good. Austin Powers 4. Mike's talked about it uh, several times. It happens, I'd love to be a part of it. Wait a minute, you'd love to be a part of it? We can't have Austin Powers without you. Oh, uh, well, tell Mike that. <laughs> the biggest celebrity here, Jason Lewis. How's it going? It's going well. President 2020? <laughs> I don't, I, I can't hear that. I'm sorry. 2024, I mean. We're just, we're just enjoying the moment and trying to get some things done in Washington. I'm feeling a little down tonight uh, health-wise, so if we can get that health care thing fixed ASAP, that'd be great. Uh, we'll try to get her done in the next couple of weeks, John, for you. We'll name it the John Foss Act. John Kerr. A lot of people think of your family, when they think of your family, they think of music, but you kind of changed up a little bit and you're like, I'm going to go ahead and play for like the best college football team of all time. I was a soccer player when I was in Miami. They didn't have, they didn't give scholarships for soccer players. So I had to learn football. You played like Ray Lewis and some other greats. Yeah, Ray, Warren Sapp, Johnson, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Is he going to run for president? Oh, he should. <laughs> I love it, man. That's it's, it's sharp and that actually great contrast. Um, you're doing it. You're doing it. My wife dresses me, but you look like you kind of know, so maybe I'll give you a call. <laughs> Let's do it, no, no doubt. Love the glasses. You know, right? Thank you. We have mirrors at home. I'm Good loving the pink tie, man. Thank all you. black Thank with you. the pinkish. Uh, you want to know the truth about yeah. these? I actually found these glasses in the hallway. <laughs> I'm hoping that no one That's recognizes That's hilarious. <laughs> Who over my head, the woman I love laying in my bed, and it's all right. Did I tell Darius to go home? Yeah, yeah you should. Sure. I, I got it. Don't even worry about it. All right, all right, all right. It's all about Shooter McGavin. Apparently, you're not alone. Shooter. So I go, yeah, yeah, baby. Jackass. No, I never hear that. I don't know what you're talking about. You do the running. I tried that in the movie, and that was my idea. And he said, okay, we'll give it a shot. And it was so goofy, they left it in. Happy Gilmore 2. Shooter's Tour. When I was so broken hearted, there wasn't much of a friend of mine. Last year, you showed me up. Do you remember that? I did. I had Frank Sinatra socks on. Those are, nice. those are, those are awesome. They probably have holes in them, so I'm not going to show them. I tried too hard then. Here, I'll show you mine. Um, I like, okay, the pink, I like it. I'm going to tell you why my, my socks are not good okay. today. They're like black, but they've been washed so much time that they're kind of like 
Grayish black. This is the first person to, during an interview, steal my job. Frankie Munez watched CW. First game of the year, you're gonna punish us? That's the plan. My eight month old, he wears a uh, Adrian Peterson onesie. <laughs> I like that. I love that, it's so cute. So you guys are stacked now. Yes. It's going to be exciting to be a, a Wolves fan again. They're definitely a playoff team. You know, it's exciting to see my hometown team bring in some talent, piece it together. Any chance we could ever get a Chris Humphreys edition onto the team? I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm a free agent right now, so we'll, we'll see. You raise me up so I can stand. Tell us about the unfortunate passing of Prince and you, your relationship with him. He's been a part of my life, you know, my whole life and continues to be a part of my life because there's nothing that I do musically certainly that doesn't in some way have a sense of me trying to make him proud because he gave us our break and was the one that really gave us the opportunity to to, to gave us a national platform, right? A really a, a worldwide platform. It's my first time in Minneapolis since he passed. It's a little bittersweet being here. You know, obviously going to be a wonderful evening tonight filled with a lot of great music, and I think Prince will always be on everybody's mind um, as he should be. You were a professional boxer. Mayweather, Conor McGregor fight coming up. You could probably take either of them. You should be my agent and represent me. I'd love to fight either one of them for 100 million. All right. <laughs> Who, prediction. Who's going to win? Mayweather. You were undrafted, right? Correct. To the Hall of Fame. How does that happen? From hard work. I love disappointing the Packers. I was a huge advocate of bringing him here. I think he can help us win a, a bunch of football games. You guys live together, right? Is he a messy roommate? No, not at all. He's a great roommate. Movie theater room. I get text messages to come up for dinner. As soon as I hear that, you know, I just run up there and start eating. <laughs> Are you a big fan of the CW? I've watched it. No NFL football. Well, you know what? I think your, your uh, prices might be a little out of our ballpark. You have to improve, you know. Get a bigger audience. If it, Bradford doesn't work out and you're in town, I mean, hey. I don't no more. know. Uh -uh, he's done. So are you guaranteeing a Super Bowl right now? No guarantees. You can't be that team that says something and then all of a sudden you jinx yourself. I think you know what my predictions are. I played in college. If you need any help, let me know. <laughs> Let's laugh, come on, man! I think with a better running game and better support up front, they got a chance to do some damage. At the end of the day, the gala raised over $7 million to help fund hearing health care around the world. Things can happen when people work together for the greater good of humanity. There's no better example of this than the remarkable work the Starkey Hearing Foundation does for communities all around the world. It's things like this and events like this that remind me how it's all worth it and what, what's, what it's all about. And it's so fulfilling to be a part of your mission. Thank you very much. Another year and another step closer to hearing health care for all. <laughs> yes. In St. Paul, John Foss, CW Twin Cities. I'm out.